Hi there, I'm Lauren, this is Brain Stuff, and here's our question for the day. Is glass a liquid or a solid? Now, if you've ever looked at the window panes in an old building, you might have noticed that the glass was ripply and sort of thicker towards the bottom. And you might have leapt, gazelle-like, to the logical-sounding conclusion that the glass had flowed into that shape very slowly over a period of centuries. You might have even read about that in a textbook. The truth is, though, that that glass was always that way. Okay, so up through the 1800s, panes of glass were made by hand. Glass blowers used what's called the crown process. In the crown process, they'd take a bubble of very hot glass and rotate it fast so that the centrifugal force would spin it out into a large, mostly flat disc. The disc would be thicker at the edges, and each pane cut from it was bound to be a little bit lumpy. Workers tended to install these with the thicker side down, probably because the slightly larger edge provided slightly better balance. So the glass in those old panes isn't flowing, at least not that researchers can discern. They've looked at samples from over 2,000 years ago and haven't found telltale evidence of flow. Now, scientifically speaking, glass is considered an amorphous solid. That means its atoms and molecules are locked into place like a solid, but those molecules are arranged more randomly than most solids, more similar to a liquid. If you want to get into semantics, you could sort of call glass a supercooled liquid. That's a liquid that's been cooled to below its melting point carefully so that it doesn't crystallize. And that's part of making glass, but at that stage it's still hundreds of degrees above room temperature. It's then cooled until it transitions into the rigid amorphous solid that we all know and love. So you might say that glass is its own state of matter, neither a liquid nor a solid. That should just about wrap up this question. If you have any other questions that you'd like us to answer, then leave a comment uh, somewhere down there. If you enjoyed the video, then hit the like button, and if you really liked it, hit subscribe so that you don't miss the next one.